nobody wants to apply for the job because it doesn't pay enough and you're, it's dangerous. Also developing a slew of staff quitting. They say student behavior is to blame. School employees are pleading for solutions at a Brevard County School Board meeting today. The meeting comes after the sheriff, the school board chair, and the state attorney revealed plans to toughen the district's discipline policy. News 6's James Barvero shows us the calls for action are getting louder. On an everyday basis, I'm deflecting, being attacked, um, scratched, um, headbutted. Teachers and bus drivers. I've been spit on, spit in the face. Expressing the difficulties, they say, of managing bad behavior. Chair of the Brevard School Board, Matt Susan, says 50 district employees quit recently because of student discipline problems. The teachers union president listing more than 20 reports from classrooms, he says, of violence, harassment, and disrespect. Incident five, student attacked three teachers today. Incident six, a kid bit her on Friday. The bite mark on her arm is the size of an orange. Jean Trent, who was a teacher before elected to the board this year, offering suggestions how parents might be able to help make improvements. From the extreme of we need maybe parents walking some hallways. We need parents to possibly sit in your child's classroom. Okay. Another teacher asking for more employees in schools to manage discipline, like hall monitors. At times we have to call someone to come to our room so that we can go have a little mini breakdown in the bathroom. Others will just drop off their keys and their badges at the front office on their way out the door, never to be seen again. More suggestions from the board include banning students from using their phones in class. We'll keep you updated as this discussion on student discipline continues. The board chair calling this meeting just the first step towards solving problems. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.